Hello everybody. Sorry if I sound stressed. I've tried filming this video like four times, but apparently I kept running out of storage and I just I have working gigs cleared up, so this shouldn't be a problem. In today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to um, put your bar and your chain on your chainsaw steel MS two ninety four boss twenty inch wood boss blade. Cuts through anything. You shouldn't need anything more than like a two fifty. Uh, uh we're crazy. But yeah, you shouldn't need anything more than like a 16, 18 inch blade bar. Um, so you should, if you're looking at it, it's clean. Every time you cut your anything with a chainsaw, you should always clean the whole thing, the inside, the filter, the air filter, your bar. It'll prevent chain and bar from clogging. Um, and also steel does have those uh, easy flip caps, which actually make everything worse because... I always have oil leaking out from those, and I try every time, and once in a while it leaks. There's nothing you can do about it. They suck. <laughs> come on, Steel, I like your sauce, but come on. Anyway, um, this should be, this tutorial could be real use for any steel chainsaw, because besides like the 170, they all have the tensioner adjustment on this side, instead of the 170, you click on this, and it's so complicated, hard, because the screws here off a bar, you try to wedge a screwdriver in. Um, so we'll start. You gotta take one of these two holes. If there's if wondering why there's two, it's because in the manual it recommends every time you sharpen, you should flip the bar. Um, so just if you're doing it this way, you do the top bolt, flip it, it's that one. And you just gotta fit it right here, just like that. That's all. Now, if that's complicated, then I don't know, because, you know, some people are so crazy, you know, they probably mount it like that, or up here, or try doing it like that, it's just that. That's all. That's all we need to do. Alright, let's grab a chain. Let's get the chain on. Chains, uh, is always the fun part is with me. Chain and I seem that we just can't get along. Uh, I put the chain on, the bar falls. I put the bar on, the chain doesn't want to go on. So bear with me. <laughs> Make sure the brake's off, so I do something. It's just easy to mount the chain, because you can, you know, move the chain. The brake's on, and we'll be moving. So I usually start here, and I use that as an advantage to get the chain around the tip. For me, for some reason, the tip goes the, the hottest pot. I'm not sure, not sure why. But if the bar falls like that, um, that's okay actually, because it's easy to loop the chain around. Just make sure you fix that before you start tightening the chainsaw, or else when you're cutting, you're gonna be wondering why your bar like fell off and killed you. Oh wait, no, you couldn't be thinking that because you'd be dead. Jesus, start. <laughs> yeah, it's funny if you watch my videos because I just don't stop talking, and you know, people are gonna be laughing. And I just hope everyone's happy. Hope everyone had a good Christmas. I've never put the chain on that fast before. I don't know if like Christ is with me. Um, so now we're going to get to uh, tightening it. And you'll notice here, you can either use steel provided scrunch. There's a little screw right there to tighten the, the get the tension. Because I, 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 I don't think you want to be cutting with the chain like that. You'll notice if your chain starts smoking on startup, it's not because, you know, it's, I don't know if you think it's the weather. It's actually because your chain's dull. So if your chain's not smoking, it's dull. Sorry, the light. So right here, that's where you want to get a screwdriver. You can use your scrunch, though. This thing will make it easier. I wish I could try to get up close, but I hope you could tell. You could see it. It's in between the two things, and... Slow and steady once the race is what. Uh, hold your bar like this. Now the screwdriver might be a little too big because it's starting to loop around the uh, bar. I thought I'd be cool. Now I have to use the steel provided scrunch. And the chain should start snugging. Make sure to hold your bar. For one, it actually puts where it sh where the bar should be, and two, so your bar doesn't derail like uh, CSX. I don't know. And 
and uh, you notice I suck at this, and you notice the train's not going around the park. And uh, if it does that, it just means you have to loosen it. And I call that pulling a Cameron Courtney, or AKA helping. You know, I tried helping this chainsaw, but in reality, I made it a hell of a lot worse than it should be. Now that we actually officially have it around the loop, we should. Wait, you know, ladies and gentlemen, just a moment, Captain. Alright, so. It's that easy. I'm gonna go edit this out. So I'm gonna tighten it, and I'll show you what to do when you're done there. Okay, so now that the uh, bar is on the chain and the chain is tightened, there's one important thing about when you tighten the chain is that you do not want to tighten it too much where the chain can't move without the chain like if you turn the brake off and you're just hand gliding it you want to make sure the chain moves and if it's too tight then that's not good for the saw if it's too loose then that's not good for the saw so you know you just have to get it right in the middle and it, it could be loose you know you don't want it to be tight and you have to like really put a lot of force in it so if you're putting a lot of force into it then obviously it has to be tight you need to take the cover and your two nuts, whatever the hell these things are called here, no. You can tighten them as much as you can with your finger. I, I like to kind of do like a certain amount, you know, one, two, one, two, one, two, just so you're tightening it at like the same time. Now, don't think you're done tightening when they stop. Then you could take your scrunch, just in the saw. Now you don't want a flimsy bar. I think uh, one time we did have an incident with the chain came off, but that was also an old craftsman. Um, I would recommend to get a chainsaw, steel, or Husqvarna, preferably steel. Um, I'm not being biased. I mean, I have steel before, steel weed whacker, two steel chainsaws. Steel hats, steel signs, steel everything, you know, steel house. <laughs> no Husqvarna is just as good. It's just you don't want to buy something like Craftsman or. Uh, I mean, Echo is good too. So just Echo, steel and Husqvarna, just like uh, steel Husqvarna and Echo Leaf Blowers. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. And, um, I hope you enjoyed. These videos are meant to help, but they're also supposed to be taking in a funny way, so don't think I'm. Really, like I'm teaching, but I'm also not a licensed engineer. All right, this is just to have a good laugh and learn something new at the same time. Like uh, Jackie, um, like Eleanor Roosevelt said, do something every day that scares you. I don't know, do something. Hope that video helps, and I hope you had a good laugh. And um, if your chainsaw blows up after this video, I'm not responsible. Steal it.